Hey, what is going on pros and presses? It's KMJ and HS123 here and welcome to another Microsoft Word 2010 tutorial. Today's going to be on how to use, why is it saying that on my computer is not slow, how to use uh, Microsoft Word Art and edit it effectively. So what we're going to do is open up a Word 2010. For our page now, we're just going to go with landscape, it doesn't really make a difference. Good landscape. Then go back to insert and here you can see where it will say Word Art. This is what you're going to want. So click that and then choose a word art of your font for it. So I'm just going to choose this one for example. So I'm just going to type some random text, make it a bit bigger. So we're just going to go test ABC, oops, one, two, three. So that is your standard word art text. And you think it looks pretty basic and it does. So first of all, we're going to go back to home and increase a couple of sizes so it's easy to see what we're doing up to 110. You can obviously change the font as well if you want. Uh, let's see, we'll go with, I don't know, we'll go with that one, doesn't really matter, but just to edit as much as possible. And of course, you can bold it, unbold it, you know, underline it if you want, it's up to you. There's more editing features there, of course, but we're not going to underline it. And you can also change, obviously, the color of the text, so we can change it to, you know, obviously any color you like. We're just going to stick with let's say a light blue. So once you click on it, the drawing tools tab will come up, the format tab. So you want to click on that and this is where you get most of your editing uh, for the word art and text. So you can do other stuff on the side here, like if you've got other pictures behind or in front, you can send it behind and back in front of pictures. You can obviously wrap wrap it um, you know, inside and around the text. You can also change the position of it as well uh, on the page here evenly instead of doing it manually so you get a nice even uh, area for it as well. You can also change the color again here, like I already explained. We'll go for green this time. Uh, here you can change the text outline. So, so say we want green with red, we can click that, and you can see it kind of now looks like a line with red on the outside, lime and strawberry. Text effects as well. This is another good one. This is where we can change lots of effects on the text itself. So you can see how it's changing it, and you can, see you can get like shadowing at the bottom and stuff, and behind and front, 3D rotation. You, know, you get all kind of fancy stuff as well like that and flat so there's lots of stuff here you can completely transform it as well to you know complete 360 of it um, but we're just going to go with a simple one we're going to go with this one here and then we go to the shape effects as well again which is what I just uh, you know which is what I just uh, done shape outline again uh, is actually the shapes outline so you can actually change the color of the border of the shape so we're going to go with a light blue again so you can see the border of it is now blue the shape fill is where you can actually fill the background so if you want it on a black background there so it kind of looks like a bit of retro or something like that you can do that as well highlight the text again go back to tab also here as well these are almost like preset theme fills as well so as I've already changed the color of the actual box and the outside of it is already done here as well if you want that so again we can click here and change that as well to your to your liking so that is a quick way of how to edit a uh, simple word art and of course again you can also edit word art in all these different boxes as well so you can create like an arrow or something for example and then insert word art into that but that is the basic editing tools for word art i hope you enjoy guys and i'll see you all later